Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This is going to be a quick um, walk around and update on my new RC helicopter, the Airhawks Twin Vortex. It's a pretty cool, uh, I can say it's a toy because it's made out of foam, but uh, if you're not familiar with flying RC helicopters, it's kind of, it's actually hard to fly. I've been it was it's my first RC helicopter. I had it for a few weeks now, and I'm pretty much can control it a little bit. So uh, this is the controller. It comes with a three-channel controller. Um, it has a throttle, um, the left and right, and forward control. Um, this is the on, and the ch um, the button for changing channels on the on the remote because this remote can be used on with other helicopters uh, is a IR emitter so this helicopter is only good for indoors uh, if you take it outside or if you near any other IR emitters it will screw up the helicopter it will not fly so uh, let's give it a quick fly and see how it goes The controller takes six AA batteries. Um, the helicopter has its own built-in battery. Um, it flies for about five minutes on the, on the charge, and then it takes about half an hour to fully charge. Uh, the good thing about the the controller, it charges with the regular, like air hugs, got their own little proprietary little plug. It charges with the controller. It doesn't matter which way you put it, it will go right down there and it will charge. And the one good thing is once the charge, the, the helicopter will charge, you forget that you have a charging, the controller will turn it off so that way it will save the batteries. Um, but the batteries, I have Duracells and they only last me for about three days, three or four days. So. Uh, Once the helicopter starts falling, uh, losing its charge, it will not fly high, it will start going down, down, down until eventually it won't start anymore. Uh, helicopter has its own the little propeller in the back, that's to propel it forward. Uh, the controller, the only bad thing is uh, every time you turn it off, it loses its trim, so when you turn it on and you start flying, you see which way it's turning. You can adjust it with that little button over there. 
then this other um, trim button over here is for the tilt so if the helicopter is going one way to the other so for example you're flying the helicopter is going this way you can adjust the, the trim and then make it go straight and then with the other trim you can see which way it's turning you can adjust it those little flaps that's what controls the, the helicopter steering and uh, yeah pretty much that. This helicopter itself will not, will not hover, it will just start and go forward so you have to constantly have your fingers in the controllers and making sure what you're doing so you won't crash and hit anything, especially my TV back there, I hit it yesterday, I was so scared, it put a little scratch but I was able to clean it up. You're taking up all our space. I'd like to for a recharge, spend more than five minutes, don't you think? Let's see if we can manage to get it. But it's more like to get it in. So the helicopter is due for a recharge. If you can see, it will not fly high anymore. In order to charge it, i got to plug in this little plug underneath there and that green light will turn on. Let me show you guys. If you can see the green light will turn on. Now the helicopter is now charging. 
once it's done charging the green light will turn off. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching.